builder birds. Oh boy, Bip! You'll never believe what Mr. Woodbird's building. A faster pair of rocket skates, Springer's springy shoes, an ice cube maker. Even better, a spaceship. Whoa! Well, actually, boys, it's a bed in the shape of a spaceship. It is? Who's it for? Captain Beekman? Pip? Me? It's for Sunny, the baby sloth you two delivered. Aww. She's gotten so big. Yes, she has. But her parents are having a little difficulty getting her to sleep in a big kid bed. So I asked Mr. Woodbird to make this special one for her. Sunny just loves outer space. I sure wish I could see the look in her face when she gets it. Well, you can. I'd like you and Pip to deliver it to Sunny and her parents. You'll need to build it for them, too. There's a little assembly required. Not only do we get to fly the bed there, we get to build it, too? But we've never actually built a big kid bed before. Are you sure we can do it? It's super easy, as long as you follow these instructions. Without them, a bed like this would be impossible to build. Then we better put them somewhere super safe, like under my hat. Or maybe in the box? Definitely in the box. Whoosh. Pip and Freddy zoom across the galaxy to a fort far, far away. Whoosh. We're almost at Sunny's house. Time to bring this rocket ship in for a landing. Starting our descent. Whoosh. Hello. Hi, Sunny's mom and dad. Pip? Freddy! Hello! And hello to you, little sunny oney. We brought you your brand new Betty Bay. Oh, Aw, we know you're a little unsure about sleeping in a big kid bed. Yeah, it's a big change from your crib. But we brought you a bed we think you're gonna love. It looks just like a spaceship. Doesn't it seem like a fun bed to blast off to bedtime in? Uh-huh. All right! Yay! Come on in! What are you going to do with Sunny's old crib? Over there. Oh, you're giving it to that cute baby that lives next door? That's right. How sweet. Well, when you get back, we'll have Sunny's bed all built and bedtime ready. Yep, you two take your time. We always do. Bye-bye. Okay, Sunny Wunny, let's get building. Whoa, that's a lot of building. Good thing we have the instructions. Um, Pip, where are the instructions? You put them right here in the box. Where'd they go? They must have fallen out during the flight. We lost the instructions. Oh, well. Not oh, well. We should go back and look for them. Mr. Woodbird said it would be impossible to build this bed without the instructions. Yeah, but it'll take so long to look for them. I bet we can sort it out before Sunny's bedtime. Wow. Look at that. These two pieces go together. We're basically almost done. Maybe you're right. How hard can building a big kid bed really be? 